What is going on guys, today we are looking at league player Delefeu and I know he is a few days, maybe even a week old now. I don't actually know, I think it is only a couple of days that we've managed to get this card and he looks absolutely insane. We've come off from Millet, we've come off from Hector Bellerin. Now we've got the Serie A, we've got Delefeu, and obviously uh, before recording this, we also got a Rodrigo from the Record Breakers. So there is a lot, a lot of good objective cards coming out right now, and it does take a lot of matches. We've also got Milestone cards that personally I haven't finished any of them yet, but again, they're there forever. They're there for the entire of the game. So there is plenty to be grinding, and we have now finished Delefeu, and honestly, it is a bit of a grind. I think for me with the objectives, the win 15 is a bit much. I would, I would say win 10 maybe even win 10 play 15 i think that's then justified but winning 15 is a lot and especially with the competitive matchmaking i'm not a big fan of it but i do like this card he looks absolutely nuts a really really decent card and what i want to know is how many league player cards have you done we've had three so far how many of them have you finished or how many have you missed let me know down below make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to join the discord we are now over 100 people so if you want to join in trading player reviews general chit chat and non-fifa stuff definitely get that link below if it doesn't work just drop a comment and i will make sure it's updated but let's get into it so we have got de Feu here he is a four star four star spanish left mid he has transferred from one Watford into Udinese. I want to say that's how you pronounce it. Um, he is right footed, five foot ten, with a high attacking work rate and a low defensive. So he's more a left wing, left forward, more than an actual left mid. In terms of chemistry style, in terms of traits, in fact, not chemistry styles, we've got a flair, and the other two are computer AI orientated. And in terms of his stats, we've got mad amounts of pace, beautiful dribbling, very good shooting, and very nice passing. So he's a very nice, uh, kind of like well rounded stat card it's mainly just the physical side of him and then defensively which we, we knew defensively is never going to be amazing with the high low with his kind of stats elsewhere we knew he's not going to be that well balanced on attacking and defending and that is absolutely fine because he is a monster going forward very very quick he's got the 99 and 90 agility balance combo with the 82 composure again it's above 80 i'm quite happy at this point in the game obviously icon swaps this card is going to be an absolute dream to play with if they don't give us like a certain requirement but I think at the minute every single league player so far has been worth it Mallet was actually decent and especially for the time he was actually really good to come out we then had Bellerin who is now in my foot champs team and is a cracking right back and now Delafeu who is a very well statted right uh, left mid as well coming from 80 all the way up to 86 with an increase of plus 8 on the shooting and passing a plus 6 on his pace and dribbling a 7 on his physical and five on his defending so he's had a very nice little stat upgrade not actually a huge huge amount in terms of six ratings but i'll absolutely take it it does mean if he does get an inform it's probably only going to be 81 82 which is unfortunate but once you've got this card you've absolutely got him for free just takes a little bit of time which i think is is absolutely fine during the kind of monday tuesday wednesday drought of the game and then we get into foot champs but to be honest at this rate in foot champs and kind of packs and stuff i'd rather go get the free cards if, if, if i'm all honest i really think that's kind of like the way to go at the minute they're really giving us no option but to either trade or to obviously buy packs and it's a shame but we'll see how it goes going forward obviously we still have league upgrades and stuff like that that potentially are coming but it's going to be interesting but let's get into some gameplay with him we've talked enough about the card we'll have a look at the overall and the objectives and all of that good stuff in a moment so in terms of gameplay with him then, very, very quick down that wing. I absolutely love him going up and down that pitch. We see him actually making some tackles as well. Literally the first kind of like moment I had with him and just trying to do, see what he's all about, see what he's like compared to his 80. As I was using his 80 a little bit during the actual getting of him and really just testing out to see, I like to see the comparison. And all these cards, I do like to kind of give a go at both versions just to see how much of an upgrade there is. And by God, is there an upgrade? There is a huge, and I expect it. Like I always say a plus one look at that little finesse oh it's beautiful but <laughs> i look at the informs and see a plus one i don't know it's too much of a difference if it's not got an upgrade with a skill move or a weak foot you don't really notice too much with a plus six i was always expecting some difference maybe not necessarily that he's going to be absolutely rapid in comparison but in terms of kind of like his overall stability dribbling his shooting bit of passing i expected a little bit more and it absolutely delivered in my opinion i think he is a wonderful card going for free kicks giving him a go really trying to see what he can do 
in and around the pitch in every single aspect in terms of defending was okay. Obviously, he's not amazing, but it's mainly like this sort of play, going and getting them assists, moving the ball up, making sure you get them shots. And honestly, you could whack him a striker if you really wanted to, and he would, he would do something. I think mainly this card is going to be icon swaps orientated because we've got the likes of Son, we've got the likes of Neymar, we've got um, some of the left wings that obviously are there. Did know that keyboard's going to move as well. So if we go into the overall for him, then we have got links like David Silva with the Spanish link in the new record breaker. Really rate that card. We obviously have the big boy Ronaldo up front. Big link there. Only a week, but it still gets the link to Ronaldo. We then have Rodrigo if you wanted to link him to the Prem. You also have all of the La Liga players. Obviously, there is plenty to go there. And I thought, you know what, we'll have a look at the objectives first and just kind of go through them and just see what's going to take the longest. And we also have the Silver Star to complete. He's next up. But you have to win 15 matches with 11 Serie A players in your starting lineup. Obviously, that is the 77 rated max three silvers and zero bronzes in the team. So that one is obviously the, the standard one to go for. Score 40 goals with Serie A players. Pretty standard when you're doing the 15 wins. Assist 20 goals. Again, very standard. Assist with through balls. If you don't do them, obviously just get a through ball in. Even if you have to kind of go behind the keeper, go with a through ball to the other side. Absolutely fine that way. And then we also have the finesse goals, which again are pretty standard. I use finesse quite a lot. And especially when it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's normally the benefit really to, uh, to go and use that. And especially if you have someone with the trait of finesse. So everything's absolutely standard with it. It's just the 15 wins. I personally think 10 is enough for something like this. I think 15 is just overdoing it in my opinion. I think 10 with maybe 15 played is a little bit more better um, in my opinion. But again, there's nothing really too taxing with that. It's very simple to do. He's a great player. And in terms of generations, we have had him since FIFA 13 back in his Barca days. Then he went to, then I think he was one of the first players in fact to get three cards in one FIFA. He got an Everton card, a Sevilla card and a Barca card all in one FIFA. Then he went and got a Sevilla and Everton and then he made his move to Everton. Then he went to AC Milan getting a cheeky, I think it's a path to glory there, back to Barca, Barca for another year. Then he moved over to Watford in that same year and then managed to get, I think that was a foot swaps card. I think it was one of the first foot swaps that we got. Managed to get a man of the match and an inform as well. And then in FIFA 20, we saw him at Watford get one more inform and then he finally changed team again during FIFA 21. And honestly, he's been through so many clubs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine card changes in literally what, 10, how many years is that? 21 to 13. So eight years, eight years of changes all there. That's just absolutely nuts to see. And in terms of his teammates in Udinese, not really on one to go with. He is the best player there. I think in terms of 77 rates, Lasagna is one of the best ones in terms of the 77 objective. If you want to kind of like use the combo there, that is always a nice one. But really, he is one on his own there. In terms of Spanish links, obviously the icons are pretty much all there. We've got a lot of decent ones. Torres, who I really want to try out. Not heard too many great things about him. Xavi, I'm hoping a good prime right there as well. Really should be uh, quite nice. And in terms of other players in the gold, obviously Fatty's very similar in his aspects. Like we've put St. Max and Insigne being in the same league. Alberto would give him a strong link. We've got Parejo again. Not not very meta at all, but again, his links, I'm just thinking of more of that. Isco, Grimaldo, Aspas, plenty, plenty of Spanish players that you could link him with. And honestly, I just rate him as a card on his own. I think he's absolutely fantastic to use. If you use a dead eye on, with, on him, look at the stats there. 94 pace, 92 shooting, 90 passing, and 92 dribbling is absolutely extraordinary for a free card. Taking him up to a 92 cam, 91 center forward or left forward, or a 92 left wing. That, for me, speaks wonders for him. I think he's an amazing card. I've given him a 9 out of 10, and I think he's 100% worth the grind. Let me know down below if you're going to be completing him. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Make sure you watch all of it. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.